Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you find yourself well today. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lily and today I am doing a little a little share with you or a little show and tell. Um, and that is because I can't play right now. I'm actually right in the middle of packing and if you have been following me along um, these past couple of weeks, you know that I am currently in California. I was in Utah, now I'm in California. I am packing because we are moving. And, and then I have to go back to Utah to pack up all of those things I have accumulated in my mom's house. Can you believe that? <laughs> and as I'm packing, I am coming across all of these wonderful, um, wonderful surprises, let me tell you. And what I'm going to show you today are items that I have that I had stored away from a Christmas fair that I did the first weekend in December of last year. Completely forgot about these items, you guys. I have five of these. I'll show you one. I'll show you one of them. They're, they're pretty much all the same except for the varying ribbons. So I have five. I had made a dozen of these, and these are the ones that I have left over after the fair. So right before I went to Utah in December, I was invited to, to be a part of a Christmas boutique, a holiday boutique, and that was the first weekend in December. And I had been working on several projects uh, in the fall last year, and so I had tons of inventory to take with me to that fair. And so these were some of the items that that um, didn't didn't sell, but that's okay. I put them away, and here they are. What a nice surprise. I also have this one, and I had made about six of these Dia de los Muertos um, single signature journals. And so I'll go through this one really quick. And then here's a nice surprise because I completely forgot I had this one. And this is, it's like a shabby, a shabby style uh, journal. Isn't that just gorgeous? I completely forgot about this, you guys. So it was a really nice surprise to go through um, that box. And it was the, the craft box because I literally, um, that first weekend in December, I, I packed everything up for the, for the um, holiday craft fair. And then I want to say it was two days later, I packed up and flew to Salt Lake City. And it's been nine months since I've been gone. And, and right now that I'm packing and I'm going through all of my items, uh, I'm coming across some great, um, some nice surprises. And it's like Christmas all over again. I get to go through all of my, all of my treasures that I have missed for nine months. And let me tell you how difficult it is not to play as I've been packing. Uh, but no, all my inks are put away. Um, everything, my papers, everything is put away. But I set these aside uh, just so I could record this and show you. My plan is to put these on my Etsy shop. But that's going to have to wait until I am settled at the new place so that I'm able to take the time and ship these out. But I thought I would go ahead and show these to you anyway. And then once I get them on my Etsy shop, I'll do a quick announcement and, and share that share that with you. But for right now, I'm going to go through these really quick. Um, I, I'll do one or two because the, the five that I have are very similar. Now, I believe it's uh, Gina at my Firefly Studio. She has a video on how she makes these clutches. And, and I will um, look for it and link it down below so that you can take a look at how she makes these. Um, that's if I'm able to, it's been a while. If I, I, I mean, I made these last, oh, it was September, October when I, when I gave these a try. And these are so wonderful. And I've seen so many people lately making these, these clutches and giving Gina credit for them because she just does such an amazing job. And everyone has their own little take on them. And uh, these were so much fun to make. They are so stinking cute. And I even made a little, uh, like a TN size journal that went inside. But hopefully I'll find that video. Or if I can't find the video, I'll, I'll link her channel so that you can go over and, and show her some love. Because she does amazing things. First of all, this was made from a lunch sack. And it has been, I collaged over it. So you could see the inside there, it's all collaged. And you guys, it feels like leather, let me tell you. It feels so good in my hands. It does, it just feels like leather. 
And what I did is I took the, um, the lunch sack, collaged the front and the back. And then once I did the collaging, I gave it a little stitching all the way around, folded it over to make this clutch. And then I also added some trim right here in the flap. And then I added one of these large, um, I believe these are We Are Memory Keepers brads. And then I threaded the this beautiful uh, lace trim through it. So yes, absolutely gorgeous. And all of these beautiful collage papers that I used. Oh, I love it so much. Love these so much. So it was a nice surprise to find these again. So this is the cover or the clutch part. And by the way, it is just so perfect. So perfect to carry, to put in your bag. It is just, it is such a perfect size uh, for traveling, you know, hence the name Traveler's Notebook. <laughs> and this is the inside. And this one was made by taking two envelopes and joining them together. And I've done that, I've done that before um, to make like, um, to repurpose junk envelopes and put them into the into the junk journals but this one I actually used to make a cover out of and it you can see the the stitching there and then it's just collaged also feels like leather oh the little goodies are falling out okay that goes right here so let me show you just quickly go through this one because I want to be able to show you the other journals as well and so the inside is also oh did I mention so it is collaged and then I used a decoupage medium to seal everything and it's not a matte finish and I, I'm not sure if you can tell it's not super glossy it's like a satin finish and it is not sticky at all you guys at all nothing and it just feels so good I'm telling you it feels like leather okay and so I did the same thing with this collaged over the envelope and then put the um, decoupage medium over it and then made a little pocket here. Am I, am I in? Here we go. Yeah. So made a little Rita corner here with some ephemera pieces. And then I used a variety of papers from my stash. Oh, let me tell you, it was so much fun looking at all of my papers when I was putting them away, putting them away. And I've missed my stuff. Oh my gosh. Especially being in Utah and working with such limited supplies. But let me tell you that that was such a great challenge for me is to create with those limited supplies. And then I come here and I have all of this great stuff and some of it, you know, I've neglected because there's just so much of it. So, um, I've learned so much, um, since I've been in it, at my parents in Utah, uh, I do have too many things and I plan on using every single item as I was going through the items that I have, anything that I really, that I wasn't going to use, um, I'm donating. So I'm only keeping th things that, that I'm actually going to use, which is, I mean, a, a large percentage of it I am keeping, but just a few things that I am donating so that they don't go to waste. Okay. Okay. So let me flip through this. This is coffee dyed paper and it is folded over. Um, so just kind of fold it over to make a little pocket. And then I made these little uh, pockets here. Isn't that cute? So I stamped here and then added a little tab. This comes from a digital kit from Nick the Booksmith. And then added some of these Project Life um, journaling cards in here. Then did some stamping here on the book page there. And then more stamping for journaling and then stitched. So it stays um, stays closed. Isn't that cute? And then here's an altered paper clip with a little fold over, little paper, some old music paper, again folded over at the bottom to create a pocket. Here's some calligraphy paper, packaging paper. Is this packaging? Yes, you know how I love packaging paper. And then I just folded over this corner and held it in place with a little paper clip. This is part of a to-do list. A little notebook and then here is a little tag that I made from a book page it's a little tag pocket and it's made from a single sheet of book page folded it up folded the corners which makes little pockets 
and um, this may have been inspired by someone else. I it's been so long, you guys. I honestly can't remember. Um, but yeah, and then I added little stickers there, little cluster of stickers, and these are I love working with jelly prints, so it's one of my favorite things to do. I think I use packaging for this. I love jelly printing. Maybe I'll do that in the future. And then let me put that back in there. So I just added some tags, some stamping, to-do paper. Here's an old page from a Stampin' Up! catalog, but I like the images, so I saved it, folded it over to make a pocket. Some coffee-stained uh, notebook paper, some grid paper. Here's some scrapbooking paper that I've stamped, folded over, and then made a little tassel. Let's see. I didn't make the tassel. I added the tassel right in the center. And there you go. The second half is just the second half of the other pages. Look at that. So nice. Oh, I love these. These, what a nice surprise to come across these. <laughs> I did I forgot about him oh my goodness so yeah and so so many people are making these right now and they're just so and, and even then I remembered that I made them for uh, for the craft fair but it was a nice surprise to find them in that box that I had put away after the um after the fair and that's because I was such a, in such a hurry to get everything packed for my flight so there's this one and then I'll open this one really quick, but you could see I try to match the colors. So after doing all of the collage on the covers, then I would choose a coordinating um, trim for it. But it's done in the same style, collaged and uh, sealed with decoupage medium. And then the little notebook insert. Um, the These little notebooks, they are, they are um, somewhat tight fitting, but they do go in. Um, they're fine in hindsight next time I make these I will probably make the um, TN just a little bit shorter just so it slides in and out well it's not that bad but in case it you know it grows and you add other things in here it just makes it easier to go in and out but you could see it's it's not that bad of a problem and I've added more little ephemeras here so the, pa the papers are all, I use the same type of papers throughout all of them. And they all have one of these book page uh, pockets folded over. So, and then this one I did a little bead. So, and another one of these. I really like these. I need to make some of these. I completely forgot I made those, so... I need to put that on my to-do list so that I can do a video as to how I made these. Those are super cute. So those are it. So I have five of these. And as soon as I get a chance, I will, like I mentioned, put those up in my Etsy shop. Um, as soon as I can, um, as soon as I'm done moving. So I'm labeling the box as priority so that when I get to my, to my new home, um, I can upload those. So there it is. So here's another one. That's number four. Here's, uh, excuse me, number four. And then here is number five. <laughs> so I, look at how beautiful. Oh, you guys, these feel so good in my hand. Yes, these are wonderful. So thanks to Gina for that inspiration. And let me show you. Let's do a quick flip through of that one. Let's see, where am I as far as time? Okay, sorry, I lost my track of time here. <laughs> okay, so this one just has, it's a bound with seam binding. And so, oh, this feels so nice. This is a soft cover, soft cover with this beautiful fabric. And see, it's soft. What did I use? I think it has a foam center. It's lined with fabric on the outside and on the inside has a fabric pocket. Isn't that pretty? It has one signature that I've stitched in. Oop, the goodies are coming out. <laughs> so look at this. So here's a fabric pocket with some gold gold trim here. 
some more trim on this side, added some tags, journaling card. This was a scrapbooking paper cut apart, I'm sure. Some rosette trim, scrapbooking paper. There's a lot of stitching in here. So I stitched this corner pocket in here. And here are some cut aparts that I've turned into tags. Here's some scrapbooking paper, scrapbooking paper. Here's a little tag. Oh, here's a little envelope. So let's take this out really quick. So I love this. I love this stamp right here, Dina Waitley. Oh, one of my favorite Frida stamps. And then added a little journaling card in here from scrapbooking paper. Oh, I love this technique. So I coffee dyed this, and then it looks like I sprayed it with some gold spray. Probably some Heidi Swap Shine. So then I just folded it over onto this page. I did some stamping. So I originally had six of these. And so now I only have the one. Where is my paper clip? Where's my paper clip? I'll find it. <laughs> okay, that goes paper clip like this. Okay, put that there. Some old music paper stitched in this tuck right here with a cut apart. I love this, it's so festive. Some more stamping, journaling card. Look at this beautiful paper. I love this, papel picado. This is a papel picado and it is my favorite. And here is some little ephemeras for journaling. Little card. And just put that there stitched in a pocket here made a journaling card from scrapbooking paper red doily coffee stained paper which has been stitched and stamped look at this beautiful trim and then look at this can you see that hot pepper hot pepper paper isn't that beautiful I for a journaling card and then I have included I remember this I included one of my um, stickers from a my sticker collection and this was from a local artist here in LA these are wonderful so I remember I included a sticker in each one of those journals this is the center of the signature folded over to make pockets and here is a cut apart from scrapbooking paper believe it or not that's where this salsa recipe came from so that's nice. Here's a journaling card I made from a book page for journaling, added a little tab, collaged a um, Dia de los Muertos napkin, and then added a nice little rose charm there. Can you see that? Little rose charm. So, oh, I love this. Oh, look at here. Here's some coffee dyed index cards which I stamped again with Dina Wakeley's Frida stamp. Oh, I, I forgot I made these. A more, another journaling card. Made this little tuck spot here. Okay. Stitched. Oh, this ribbon is so pretty. Some stamping. Stamping. Oh, this paper's gorgeous. More stamping. This feels like mixed media paper. It could be. Stamping. Lots of beautiful scrapbooking papers. Some cut aparts and a tag. Stitched in corner pocket. And this right here is beautiful, beautiful um, scrapbooking paper. A couple more tags into this fabric pocket. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And tied everything with this beautiful seam binding. Oh my gosh, am I going to have time to show you the other one or am I going to have to do a separate video for the last one? I'll do a quick, let's see, where am I? I think we should be fine. Okay, here we go. Look at this beauty, you guys. Oh my gosh, I, remember, I had so much fun making this one. So much fun. And it is an altered book. I made this one last summer. 
and it has this beautiful organza ribbon with one of these Tim Holtz um, knobs and then I just kind of clip that over has the we are memory keepers um, brads here so I used fabric for the binding just uh, to enhance that the, the book binding with this beautiful trim let's open it whoa so pretty altered index cards I love working with index cards you guys coffee dyed and then I just uh, did a little bit of stamping there here's a library card with um, some little clusters that I made I found a box of all of these two that I had made in advance ready to be used and then here is a library pocket with an altered Rolodex card oh I did some stenciling here I think this was a Martha Stewart stencil and then some trim here's a little bull pen with the rose charm Can you see that and then some blank pages oh look at that here's some what did I do here oh look at that just for here's the tab and then I used it to clip over I used a journaling card okay put that there and then clipped it with some added some more of the um, index cards look at that so this was fun this altered book was inspired by Gail and I think she's currently working on one um, from beginning to end but I've watched a video that she made um, some time ago and that's where um, this was inspired from. And you can see there are top loading pockets here with some of the repurposed um, envelopes. I have a video on how I came up with this idea and to make these for the top loading pockets. And this is just an envelope that I've repurposed. And I added a little tab just so it's easy to go into that top pocket like that so I'll link this video at the end so you could see how to make these right here and then here is this is not a fabric flip it is just I just added this fabric right here because it just looks beautiful you can add a photograph on top of that if you like here's some journaling here's a belly band with more altered index cards these feel amazing a little bit of stamping belly band from scrapbooking paper here's another one of those beautiful little clusters I make these in advance and then I just glue them down to the projects here's another library pocket with some coffee dyed notebook paper another one of these little clusters trim altered Rolodex card here's a side pocket a little fabric there music paper scrapbooking paper oh here is an envelope oh here's a what did I do oh it is an altered paper clip isn't that cute and then with an altered envelope and an altered index card alter 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 <laughs> and I just clipped it over the page okay well I need I think I have a whole box of these that I made too I made those in advance that is so pretty here is a vellum pocket with an altered index card with some of my faux stamps oh here's another top loading pocket collaged and then again a pocket for more journaling and then the tab so you can pull it out from the top loading pocket eco dyed paper that I made I want to do this again some more stenciling look at this beautiful trim so I used a scrapbooking papers and these are really thin scrapbooking paper so that they don't bulk up the the uh, the book Here's just a little piece. Here's a little tuck spot, little piece of vellum. 
beautiful scrapbooking papers, little cluster, eco dyed paper, tram, journaling spot, more index cards, side pocket, belly band made with lace trim. Here's another little bulb, bulb pen with a beautiful rose charm. Another top loading pocket with a collaged envelope for more journaling with a journaling card inside. I loved making these, you guys. I think you'll enjoy that video. Another cluster. Here's an index card, side pocket. Vellum pocket with a little cluster. Whoa. Eco dyed paper, lots of trim, lots of beautiful papers. Another envelope, collaged. For more journaling. Another belly band made from vellum paper. Isn't that pretty? Look at this beautiful trim. Eco dyed paper, scrapbooking paper, little bits of fabric. Side pocket. Stenciled on eco dyed paper, coffee dyed notebook paper, trim, scrapbooking paper. Here is an altered book page for that I made into a journaling card. Vellum pocket. Let's see, where am I? Okay, another pocket here, cluster, side pocket. Wow, I love this journal so much. Here is a little cluster right here. Is it a paper clip? Nope, it's just a little cluster with another collaged envelope for journaling and then a little pocket there. Oh, I want to make another one of these. Yes, and I want to make more of these. More of these envelopes. Here is another altered paper clip. Can you see that? I'll take it apart and bring it up close. <laughs> so it's just a little altered, little cluster. There it is. Little altered paper clip with an altered envelope. These were fun. And then just clipped over the page. Where was it? <laughs> I have to remember where I pull things apart from. Okay. This is fabric I used to line the page. Pocket with vellum paper. Bowl pen with another rose charm. And a lot of journaling spot. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this book so much. I remember all the little details I added to it. Oh, this was so much fun to make. So yeah, go watch Gail's video on how she works on these altered books. Um, I'll link her video down below and then I will link the video as to how I make these right here um, at the end of my video. You guys, thank you so much. I am running out of time right now and I don't want to get cut off, but I appreciate you being here and um, I'll try to find a little bit more time before I put other things away because I'd like to show you my Rolodexes really and that'll be a short a shorter video for sure. Um, but right now, I got to get back to packing. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know below. I appreciate you being here and uh, let me get to packing. I will talk to you guys later. You guys take care. Bye.